Cruz went out there and, and, and did his thing, man. He showed up and he kept that pressure. He kept coming. It was just too much for it was just too much for Roley. You know, Roley landed big shots, but man, uh, Cruz just was it was too much. Roley's, you dumbass, getting knocked out. Focus on your opponents instead of focusing on me. The boxing community has been rocked by controversy following Raleigh Romero's explosive allegations of cheating against Isaac Cruz after their recent bout. The contentious issue has drawn reactions from a range of prominent figures within the sport, each offering their own perspective on the unfolding drama. Oscar De La Hoya, a boxing legend and influential promoter, was among the first to publicly denounce Romero's cheating claims. In a forthright interview, De La Hoya expressed his disappointment and frustration with Romero's behavior, labeling the accusations as baseless and detrimental to the integrity of boxing. De La Hoya emphasized the importance of fair play, sportsmanship, and respecting the outcomes of fights, urging Romero to accept the defeat graciously and focus on improving his skills for future bouts. Focusing on me. God damn it. All other fighters, learn from Rollies. Don't talk shit about promoters. There's only three of us in the world. Devin Haney, a rising star in the lightweight division known for his technical prowess and disciplined approach to the sport, echoed De La Hoya's sentiments. Haney openly questioned the validity of Romero's cheating allegations, suggesting that they were a desperate attempt to deflect from his defeat and tarnish Cruz's victory. Haney called on Romero to provide concrete evidence to support his claims or retract them altogether, cautioning that such behavior could severely damage his reputation and credibility as a professional fighter. Moreover, Michael Bisping, a former UFC middleweight champion turned MMA analyst, also joined the chorus of voices condemning Romero's cheating accusations. Known for his outspoken and no-nonsense commentary, Bisping lambasted Romero for his unsportsmanlike conduct and urged him to take responsibility for his performance in the ring. Bisping dismissed Romero's claims as unfounded and urged the boxing community to focus on supporting fighters who uphold the values of honesty, integrity, and fair play. Contrastingly, Eddie Hearn, a prominent boxing promoter known for his promotional acumen and keen eye for talent, expressed tentative support for Raleigh Romero. Hearn suggested that there may be merit to Romero's claims and called for a thorough and impartial investigation into the allegations of cheating. Hearn emphasized the importance of ensuring a level playing field for all fighters and suggested that a rematch between Romero and Cruz could be a viable solution to settle the dispute and restore the integrity of the sport. On the other hand, Floyd Mayweather, the undefeated boxing legend renowned for his outspoken nature and controversial opinions, also threw his weight behind Romero. Mayweather expressed his belief in Romero's innocence and called on the boxing community to give him the benefit of the doubt. Mayweather's endorsement of Romero's claims added further fuel to the fiery debate surrounding the Cruz-Romero fight, dividing opinions within the sport and intensifying the controversy. Frank Martin, renowned for his prowess and steadfast commitment to sportsmanship, may soon enter the ring with Raleigh Romero, a formidable adversary embroiled in controversy. Romero's bold allegations against his previous opponent, Isaac Cruz, have tainted the sport, a realm historically revered for its principles of integrity and discipline. Martin, known for his candidness, has emerged as a champion for the sport's integrity, publicly challenging Romero to fight not only with strength, but also with honesty. This call to action transcends personal vendettas. It's a rallying cry for transparency and equitable competition. He got one more fight. He got one more fight like that and his ass is done. Really? What he is that? One more fight like that. You know, cause, you know, people like him, you know, just cause of his antics and, you know, he just say whatever comes to his mind, say crazy shit, but. Romero's allegations against Isaac Cruz have reverberated throughout the boxing community sparking concerns about a potential culture of deceit and underhanded tactics within professional boxing. If substantiated, these accusations not only besmirch the reputations of individual fighters, but also cast doubt on the efficacy of the sport's governing bodies in ensuring equitable competition. Romero's journey in the ring reflects his explosive style, 
characterized by thrilling knockouts and a rapid rise to fame. Even when pitted against the formidable Gervonta Davis, Romero's spirit remains unyielding. He thrives in the limelight, boasting of punching power comparable to a super middleweight. Despite competing in the lighter 135-pound weight class, Romero's infectious self-assurance has earned him a dedicated following, attracted by his theatrics and larger-than-life presence. The uproar following Romero's defeat by Isaac Cruz took center stage when rather than gracefully accepting his loss, Romero made grave allegations of foul play against Cruz. The details of these accusations shrouded in secrecy only served to fuel conjecture and sow distrust within the boxing fraternity. This wasn't merely the reaction of a disgruntled loser, it cast a pall over the sport, raising legitimate concerns about its integrity and the potency of Cruz's performance. Isaac Cruz, the focal point of this controversy, is no stranger to adversity, having forged a reputation for resilience and unyielding pressure inside the ring. Cruz, known for his relentless aggression in the ring, consistently presses forward, engaging in exchanges that blur the lines of fair play. This behavior sparks a heated debate about sportsmanship. Despite the controversy, Cruz refuses to stay silent, vehemently denying Raleigh's accusations as baseless. The boxing community finds itself split, with reactions ranging from outrage to skepticism, highlighting the diverse perspectives within the sport. Calls for a thorough investigation resonate among those concerned about the implications of dismissing such claims lightly. On the contrary, there are individuals who dismiss the allegations, viewing them as feeble justifications for a loss and casting doubt on Romero's intentions without concrete evidence. Prominent figures in the sport are voicing diverse opinions. Some endorse Romero's right to voice concerns, while others critique the vagueness of the accusations and their potential to damage boxing's reputation. Fans are actively engaging in the discourse on social media, deliberating the ramifications of these claims and emphasizing the necessity of upholding fairness and integrity in the sport. Frank Martin's recent address on Raleigh Romero's accusations against Isaac Cruz transcends mere honesty advocacy. It embodies the ethos of an undefeated warrior celebrated for his dedication to fair play. Martin's triumphs aren't just victories, they're showcases of technical finesse and knockout potency. Yet, what truly sets him apart is his unwavering commitment to sportsmanship earning admiration from fans and peers alike. In a realm often marred by theatrics, Martin shines as a beacon of integrity. For the most part, uh, I just feel like after taking certain losses, been stopped most of the time, even in sparring and drop and stuff like that, it's like people are going to veer away from me. You know, they're going to, mm -hmm. the fans are going to just die off. But, you know, you got personality and stuff, but for the most part, man, he got to go out there and and show up. You be talking a lot. You gotta, people want to see you win. You know, not just talk. People won't get tired of just the, the laugh and the antics. They want to actually see you win. One pivotal moment etched in history was the renowned clash between Gervonta Tank Davis and Raleigh Romero in May 2022. This bout, eagerly awaited by fans, wasn't merely about the championship stakes. Davis's WBA regular lightweight title hung in the balance, but also the brewing animosity between the two pugilists. Months of verbal sparring and simmering hostility set the stage for an electrifying showdown. However, as the fight commenced, both fighters adopted a measured approach, sparking debate about their tactics from the get-go. Romero, towering over his opponent with an extended reach, masterfully employed his jab to dictate the distance, leaving Davis, the renowned southpaw, renowned for his potent punches, feeling frustrated. Davis, displaying remarkable patience, circled the ring, biding his time for the opportune moment to unleash his lethal left hook. However, the match was not devoid of controversy. Romero incurred warnings from the referee for illicit use of elbows and a dubious throw of Davis to the canvas in the second round. The pivotal moment occurred in the sixth round when Davis, seemingly finding his groove, landed a precisely timed counter left-hand punch that sent Romero crashing face-first into the ropes. Romero staggered to his feet, his balance wavering, but referee David Field, sensing his vulnerability, 
decided to halt the bout, declaring Davis the victor by TKO. The decision ignited instant controversy with official announcements confirming Davis as the winner while Romero vented his frustration on social media, arguing the stoppage was premature. Meanwhile, Davis drew parallels to Juan Manuel Marquez's legendary punch against Manny Pacquiao in 2012, emphasizing its strategic impact despite not being the most forceful blow. The post-fight fallout only intensified the spectacle surrounding the match. Romero's latest bout culminated in yet another stoppage triumph, albeit amid heightened controversy. Numerous voices within the boxing fraternity decried the decision, branding it as both lamentable and orchestrated. The Davis-Romero showdown continues to splinter public sentiment. Some assert that the referee acted judiciously, safeguarding a potentially vulnerable Romero from further harm, while others contend that despite being shaken, Romero possessed the resolve to persevere and merit an opportunity to retaliate. The discussion underscores the intricate nature of snap judgments in a realm where a solitary blow holds the power to alter destinies. Yet on May 13, 2023, the boxing realm bore witness to another bout where Romero's resilience in the face of defeat was unmistakable. This encounter wouldn't be etched in memory for its excellence, but rather for the storm of dispute it stirred. Stepping into the ring at the renowned Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, Rolando Raleigh Romero, infamous for his flamboyant persona and past controversies, faced a pivotal opportunity to seize the vacant WBA super lightweight world title. His adversary, Ismael Barroso, a seasoned fighter, is poised to challenge Romero's medal. Despite the anticipation, Romero emerged triumphant, securing victory through a ninth-round technical knockout. However, the manner of his win stirred controversy and accusations of unsportsmanlike behavior. From the fight's onset, a palpable tension underscored the exchanges. Barroso, leveraging his experience, adopted a strategic, measured approach aiming to capitalize on Romero's inclination towards brawling. Yet as the bout progressed, Romero's tactics raised eyebrows. Replays revealed instances of him resorting to borderline maneuvers, prompting scrutiny and debate over the integrity of his victory. One clear illustration of this was Romero's consistent reliance on elbow strikes. Hooks often hit their mark alongside stray elbows, a tactic capable of causing significant harm without drawing official penalties. Barroso, visibly frustrated and marked by these blows, voiced his grievances to the referee. But Romero's approach remained largely unaffected by the warnings. The pivotal moment arrived in the ninth round when Romero landed a clean right hand, sending Barroso stumbling backward. Although Barroso seemed to be recovering, Romero lunged forward before he could fully regain his footing. He unleashed a barrage of punches, most of which targeted the back of Barroso's head and neck. While technically not illegal, this flurry drew widespread criticism for its targeting and perceived lack of sportsmanship. The victory, tainted by suspicion, reinforced the perception that Romero prioritized winning above all else, even if it meant skirting the rules. However, is the narrative really that simple? Perhaps Romero's actions stem from an inability to accept defeat gracefully. Regardless, this shouldn't define the entirety of Romero's legacy. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.